Hey, viewers, this is your Michael from Screen Views, bringing you a new podcast from my shepherd called the Secret Sentai Review. And like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I tell you my best not to breach your heart during this RE podcast recording as well, not to cost any RE feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this RE podcast recording will attain to adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this RE podcast recording will attain to adult language if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, that means you get to watch this RE podcast recording. So anyway, with this everything up to the way, let's get into late episode with... Let's get to the latest episode of, uh, of Dawn Border. So basically the episode starts off like this. The, so basically, we see, we see, we see, we see the Pink Ranger, and Shinji, the Blue Ranger, and, uh, and Haruka, and the Yellow Ranger, worrying that, uh, that they have not seen Mobile Tiger since his duel with, you know, since his duel with, with the new Sun Eye. So basically they were worried that he didn't show up at work, and basically they were just thinking out that Mobutaro didn't show up at work or nothing, and they're thinking, they're thinking something must be bad happened to, to him. So anyway, so anyway, meanwhile, somewhere, uh, somewhere, somewhere in the Naho, uh, somewhere at the Naho dimension, we see, we see, we see, uh, we see, uh, we see, we see talking to Sanja and Son Omi about, you know, uh, about, let's, let's, you know, about, you know, about, you know, about, you know, about that, you know, about he, he took, he finished off the, the towel. So basically, Son Omi and, uh, and Sanja was like, you know, oh, you took, Oh, you took down the Red Ranger. All right, then. So basically, even though they looked kind of shocked that he was able to do so, take down Paolo the Red Ranger. So basically, so basically, like you know, so basically, like, for now on, you guys, uh, you guys are gonna spread loyalty to me and be my comrade. So basically, you know, you know, uh, Son Omi and Sonda was kind of with tired, you know, with you know, it's getting fed up with with you know, with Sonai's new personality after you know, after the council used Tall's Ranger energy to bring him back to life. So basically, like you know, they thought he was nuts, and basically, and that's and John transformed into a warrior form and started to fight them and basically uh, it was, so basically so, so, Sunrise was too powerful for uh, was too powerful for them and and Sun Omi and Sandra had no choice but to place their loyalty and place their loyalty and beat and beat Sunrise uh, and beat new comrades. So anyway, and that's when the, that's when Don Mamasama said fly away and went to go look for and, and that's when and that's the Don Mamasama sword fly away from you know Sansa's hand, so <laughs> fly away from from Sansa's hand. Meanwhile, somewhere uh, somewhere under a bridge, we see, somewhere somewhere under a bridge near a cleat somewhere, we see we see we see Danger Jewel in, in his Danger personality. You know, was basically keep was trying to keep was trying to keep power alive. So basically, power is not dead, but he's barely, he's barely hanging on to his life. So basically, you know, David was trying to keep, was trying to keep Tara alive. So basically, and that's when, and that's when, you know, that's when Dama himself sword showed up and basically got, and basically, and Dama himself like getting, you know, cat out of the sword and started to, and started to attack, he tried to attack David to try to figure out some more Tara. So basically, the mother voice and 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 Donald Solomon's head tell him that you know left here you need to finish off you finish off finish off the Red Ranger you had the perfect opportunity so basically lucky that Danger Jim was powerful enough to to sit to force to force Donald Solomon to retreat and basically and basically and that's when you know Danger after Danger Jim forced forced Donald Solomon to retreat Danger Jim figured that figure I know a person that can help uh, help you tell to bring you back me bring you to to, to to fix your room. Let's hope let's hope he let's hope he's there. So anyway, meanwhile the Rangers 
just got a message through the sunglasses that, you know, from Sarah that you know, saying that, you know, oh, oh, well, I have a message to you, Rangers, that you're about to, about, about the Red Ranger Taro. So basically meet me at the cafe. So basically, the, so before any of the Rangers and, 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 and Sarah and Gang got to the cafe, Danger Driver can use the virtual doorway to bring a unit Movatara to to Black Kyder's cafe. So basically turns out that turns out that that, it, that Black Kyder has has medical skills to help save to, to save Movatara's life. So basically he turned to his back that came a operating room and tried was trying to save was trying to save Movatara's life. But then before he did anything before he did anything, you know, before he ever did anything, you know, Sandra, Sandra and Scott and the rest of, and, you know, and, 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 and the rest of the Rangers showed up at Black Hydra's Cafe, except for the Black Ranger, and they were left, and left, you know, left, you know, left, you know, and left tall in the hands of, of Black Hydra. So basically, you know, Sarah told the Rangers that, you know, that I defeated Motov is gone, he's he's gone, so basically blah blah blah. So basically they got into this weird this weird stupid serious convers you know, into this conversation that you know, oh, I I I Mobotov, I defeated Mobotov, he's gone, he he's not coming back, blah blah blah. And so basically I know to some eye that turns that that tower is still alive, is still alive in the back room of, of Black Kaido's coffee shop. So anyway, so basically Black, Black Kaido had to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know, you know, went back and forth trying to say Taro's lie and also dealing with Sunai and uh, dealing with dealing with Sai and his gang and serving them food and shit serving Sunai and, and, and his gang and the other and the other free rangers to food and shit like that. So anyway so basically, you know, so basically, like, you know, who, so basically, you know, the other way just can't believe that Tau is really gone, but you can't believe that Tau is really gone, and basically, you know, while, or so basically, so basically, without really, you know, without really telling, telling, you know, telling the Rangers that Tau is in his back room, we kept, you know, kept, they, you know, you know, kept you know, kept his answers vague that that Carlos in his back room, in his back room, and he tried to save him. He's like, you know, I get, I doubt that Tara is dead, but you know, you know, basically kept, basically, you know, Black Kyle kept the, you know, kept, you know, kept the secret of Tara being in his back room and him trying to save him, secret from the, from from you know, Sunrise and and his gang and also and also from the other Rangers. So basically, you know, so basically, from that conversation with the other one, he explains that, you know, that the Dumb Brother Powers are actually, are actually, are actually, are, are actually was created from the Naho by the Don clan. So basically, like, you know, he, you know, somebody was getting more information to the Rangers that, you know, that your, that your powers are actually Naho powers created by the Don clan. So basically by the clan that, the clan that, you know, that Paul and, and they, and Paul and Jiro come from, the, the clan created the, the, the Don brothers' powers and whatnot. So so basically, like you know, but but you know, but you know, but Sonai wants to want the Rangers to join him, or want to want the he wants the Rangers to join him as Conrad. So basically, he you know, Sonai must have figured maybe maybe the, he wants them to want to use them to fight the Beastly. So basically, like I think Sonai was thinking ahead, like you know, the Beastly are going to be a major threat. So basically, he wants to get the Rangers to try to get the rest of the Rangers to join his side. That way, that way, if the Beastly start start to really get start to really get dangerous, you know, he had he at least had the rest of the Rangers on his side to fight the Beastly. But the Rangers were not were not having that. It was not in said no and whatnot and started to get into these silly, stupid, 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 you know, game competitions and whatnot. So basically, so basically, meanwhile, in the back, in the back, in the back of Black Kaido's coffee shop, 
Mm-hmm. Black kind of managed to managed to treat Movatar's wounds, but he needed some, he needed uh, he he needed some energy from so basically he needed some energy to help to help uh, to help uh, needed some energy to help Tao to heal faster. So basically, he went back out and basically and took some of the uh, took took the took the energy of Sandra, Sound Omi, and uh, took the uh, took the energy of Sandra and his gang and the uh, and the other three rangers and used that energy and and used that energy to help Taro to uh, help Taro to uh, help Taro to to heal to, to to heal faster and basically and saving Taro's lives. So anyway, so basically turns out that turns out that Sun. Uh, Sunai has a new power, uh, power, and basically tried and used this new power to turn, to turn, to turn the, to turn Ijoshi, Shinji, and Hara into Naha monsters based off of Sunbroken. So basically, his new power was able to turn. Was able to turn the, the uh, turn these three ranges into into Naha monsters based off of Sun Bogan. So basically, you know, so so basically, it seems like it seems like someone it seems like someone had the upper hand until until Taro showed up on the back. And basically, after seeing Taro was okay, we seen Taro that it, it was okay. The the blue and, and the blue and yellow managed to transform that and uh, managed to fight the Naha monsters taking control over their bodies and transform back into themselves after see after seeing after seeing Tar was okay as for the as for the he was pretty much said uh, the uh, the Naha monster was too strong and basically took control of the pink ranger and, and took control of the pink ranger and and basically the way, the other rangers had no choice but to but to take down the Naha monster that was uh, that was controlling the pink ranger and basically somehow and and his gang was shocked to see that Tall was still alive so anyway. So anyway, the Rangers managed to catch up with, with the Naha monster, with the Naha Sun Doki monster, and basically, and that's when Naruto brought up this new power up, and some of this little tiny phoenix called the the only Kessin uh, Phoenix and use it in his Dawn Blaster to transform into this power up form called Go uh, Go Don Motaro and use this new power up to to destroy the Naha monster and free the Pickering from, you know <gasps> From the control of the Nahama, uh, of the some broken Nahama, uh, and basically, and save the day. So basically, so basically, I noticed from the, I noticed from uh, the ladies did not notice that uh, that uh, that Sunai was watching the whole thing went down. And it's like you know, and so and and Sunai was kind of impressed of you know. Like you know, who looks like I have to? It looks like I have to make sure the next time I do do take him dead, I'll make sure that he is dead. Uh, I, I'll make sure that he is dead. Uh, I'll make sure that he's really dead for real. So anyway. So anyway, you know, it, it, so basically, it gave you the pain was sorry, was was saying sorry for uh, for once again becoming a Naha monster and and attacking you and attacking the other rangers. So basically, the other rangers were was kind of were kind of like you know were trying to pull themselves together after after this whole ridiculous day with you spending with Sunai and his and his gang and whatnot. So basically, Tyler was like, you know what, you guys must have had a crazy shitty day. So basically, you know, I'm just going to leave and get back to work and you guys, you know, deal with, deal with the problems that you guys face today. You know, like, you know, you guys deal, you know, deal with, you know, deal, you know, deal with what happened today by yourselves. And basically, and basically left the cafe and just left the cafe and, be, and just left the cafe and basically, and basically that's pretty much how the episode ended with Paul with Tal, with Tal leaving the leaving the other rangers at the cafe at Ashford. The black ranger, he was trying to he was trying to make sure that uh, that his that his wife, uh, who is married to is Yoshi, is really is his wife before he before he before he start asking questions. And basically, this how the episode ended with you know with Tal just leaving the, the the cafe and just going back to work after after he you know, almost died and you know. 
know, etc., etc. So anyway, this was a good episode. This episode. This episode didn't really make sense to me, like, you know, so basically, it didn't really explain, it, it, it didn't really get a good job explaining how Mobital got his, got his upgrade uh, about, you know, about this powerful Phoenix, this little tiny Phoenix upgrade, how, how to, you know, how he retained this upgrade in the first place. So basically, this episode didn't really get a good job explaining how he got this upgrade, you know, very basically, it didn't really get a good job about that. But I would say that, you know, we got more information about, we finally got information on the origin of the Dawn Brothers' powers. We know that the, you know, that the Naho, um, that the Naho or the, the Naho or the Membranes or all the ones who, uh, we know that, you know, that Marvel Towers, you know, clan is the ones who, who made the Dawn Brother powers. So basically, we got that information. So anyway, this episode didn't really get a good job explaining how Tower got his upgraded form go down Mo Tower. So basically this episode was just was confusing. Anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Good, bad, or just uh or, or just mad? Please let me know with me. please let me know in the comments below. Anyway, starting off. One